Hello viewers, this is Wolf here with another Gundam model kit review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Master Grade Unicorn Gundam Perfectibility. Now this is a Gundam based limited model, and essentially what this is supposed to be, it's almost like an alternate timeline or alternate ending to, war, uh, to where the RX-0 Unicorn gained various armed armors from the various different mobile suits, such as the Banshee Norn and the Phoenix mobile suits, um, which you can clearly see here just based off of the different attachment parts that are on the unicorn right now which I'll go into a little bit better detail later on but before we start on the mobile suit here um, we'll just take a quick look at the box here so of course the box we have a very big box here um, with some really nice artwork of the model here on the front looking very aesthetic so if we tilt this down of course we're gonna take a look at the various features that come with this so of course we currently have it in unicorn mode right now but then of course it's transformable so we can go into destroy mode and then we have we have the various different armed armors right here so of course we have the armed armor bs which is the beam smart gun which is this piece mounted on the right arm here and then we have the armed armor des which is the defense extension which are these two parts mounted on the back and then we have the armed armor vn which is the vibro nail which is this weapon mounted on the left arm right there so if we spin this around and take a look at this side we have some more weapons and attachments here. So we of course have the Armed Armor HJ, which is the Hyper Beam Javelin, which is this piece, this massive piece right here, this big ass weapon. Um, and then we have the Armed Armor XC, which is the Xeno Connect, which is essentially this backpack piece right in between the two DEs. And essentially the Xeno Connect, um, it pretty much just increases the affinity of the pilot and the cycle frame. Um, so that's pretty interesting and then of course we have the various weapons here we have the beam saber so we have two beam saber effect parts um right here and then we have and, and it comes with four beam saber handles um and then we have the beam magnum which we have right here and then we have the hyper bazooka which we have right here so so with all that said let's take a look at the actual model so right here so with the model completely assembled um it's clear to tell that the visuals are definitely this model's big, uh, biggest strong strong suit it's definitely this model's strong suit because um you take a look at this like i really love the color combination on this like the white and the blues it's a very simplistic design but i feel that that simplicity really allows for this model to stand out quite a bit um, even in unicorn mode where there's not really that much blue that you can see but for the the parts that are exposed like for example with the bs here you can see the the blue frame kind of showing through the through the cracks and the gaps of the weapon here looking really interesting and then even on the vibro nail here with the various transparent blue sections right in there looking really nice and then even on the xeno connect on the back there um even while it's completely collapsed and um and closed in um we can see that there's some really nice blues on this and i also really love the different shades of blue that we have on this as well because um uh, like the there's definitely a very wide selection of blues here, which is actually kind of interesting, even down to the foot here, because you can see that this, on the feet, we have very dark blues down there. And then if you actually go up to the top with the different weapons, we have like a transparent blue um, for a lot of these pieces on the Vibro Nail and the, and the Beam Smart Gun. But then even on the Xeno Connect, we have various different shades of blue with different stickers and transparent parts there, which they all kind of culminate into a very beautiful effect, um, especially in destroy mode. So I guess getting on to articulation real quick, this is actually the part of this review that I'm dreading because this, honestly, this model is very finicky. And this is the one thing I did not like about this model is parts love to fall off um, just fly at, fly around and just go all over the place. So I'm going to be very simplistic when it comes to this review here. So anyway, um, just jumping onto the feet, we're going to start from the bottom up. So the foot goes down about that far and then up about that high. And of course we have various movement, par moving parts here. I'm not really going to go into too much detail about this because this, 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 this Gundam has so many movable parts on it. So I'm not going to really spend too much time on that, but 
onto the leg now. The leg goes up about that high. Doesn't really go up any further than that. And then when it comes to bending the leg back, you can't really go back any further than that. So it's kind of just stuck there. So that's about as much as you can really get with the leg. Um, going out about that far, that's about as far as you can get it. Um, yeah, up about that high. Um, so onto the waist. The waist, of course, you know, you have various um, moving parts with the side skirt there. Um, onto the arms here. So the arm moves up about that far, um, and then to curl it, when you curl the arm, it curls up about that far there. So decent movement on the arms there at the very least. And then on the head, um, so the head um, goes down about that far, goes up about that high, has um, some okay movement. Of course, you can't really move it to the sides too much just because the head makes contact with the collar. So the head is um, the head's movement is is okay at the very least. And then of course there are various different moving parts when it comes down to like everything else, like the vibro nail. Um, I think my most favorite part of articulation on this model is definitely when it comes to the DEs because we have these little tails here that are attached to each of them. There's actually a wire in here. So because of that wire, you can actually pose this and articulate the tail um, in any way that you want. You can just completely bend it, completely um, manipulate it to any position that you so choose. Um, so this is definitely my favorite part of this, like the wire and just playing with the tail of the DE on this. Um, so that's pretty much going to cover it for articulation on this model. So just taking a quick look at the weapons now. So we've already taken a look at the beam smart gun. So um, the smart gun here, of course, it's foldable. So you can kind of have it collapsed in its um, not in use mode here, of course. And then, yeah, you can you can push this down so that the blue is not exposed. And then the vibro nail here. Um, the vibro nail has a bunch of movement here. You can, of course, lift this up. Um, you can extend the bottom, the bottom parts of the nail out as well, too. There's a lot of movement that you can get with the vibro nail which is actually pretty cool probably one of my favorite weapons with this kit and then the various other parts that come with this model here are these so of course we talked about the hyper javelin um, earlier and then of course we have the the beam magnum here which is really interesting so the beam magnum um, so we have uh, it's interesting because um, when it comes to movement and the features of it so the front the front of the barrel um, you can actually extend out and that allows you to take out the take out the magazine um, you can swap in the magazine you can actually like connect all of the because it comes with extra magazines so you can actually connect them all together and then make a really long um really long uh, ammo capacity be magnum which is kind of interesting um, but then you close it in uh, the only problem that I have with this is that this part is kind of flimsy and very loose. You can just feel that everything just kind of shakes around here when you move it around. You can see this isn't even like sitting in here tight. It's not really locked in um, by anything. It's just locked in by you closing this. So like as soon as you do that, it just falls right out. So it's a little bit of a flimsy part here, um, but still an interesting feature. And then of course it has a handle that you can stick out. And then, um, you know, there's a sticker that goes in here for the, for the scope there, and um, yeah, overall pretty simplistic, just an all overall all gray design on the Beam Magnum. Now taking a look on the Beam, I mean on the Hyper Bazooka, um, a very large part of course, um, we have a sticker here for the scope, um, and just like the Beam Magnum, this end part here can extend out, oops, and of course the, the magazine just flew all over the place. So you can, ex you can extend that part out and then take the magazine straight out if you want to. Um, so that's pretty interesting. You can collapse that back in. And we also have a handle here um, and this handle down here, which that handle is pretty stationary. And then this also extends out too. So you have a bit of movement with this model and a little... Um, a little uh, sight right down there as well too so and then of course here are the beam effect parts for the beam sabers and the other piece that it comes with is not really a weapon but this is an accessory part 
honestly, if you see this, just do if you if you get this model and you see this part, do yourself a favor and just throw this in the trash. This is essentially supposed to be an adapter for an action base. Um, this is garbage because like when I like when I got my action base for I tried to use this and this does not do a good job in the slightest in holding up the unicorn. The unicorn will just fall out. It'll just fall on the floor as soon as you have it sit on this because there's like there's literally nothing here that hold that supports its weight. So honestly, just get an action base for um, like when you get your action base for just use the stand adapters that come with it. Don't even bother with this thing because this piece is actually garbage. And yeah, that's pretty much going to cover it for weapons. So I guess now I'm going to jump into transforming the unicorn and then give my impressions of that. Alright. Here we have the Unicorn Gundam Perfectibility completely transformed, and this is easily and clearly where this model kit shines. So if I just pan the camera around a little bit, you can see that um, we have all of the all of that blue frame completely exposed on this, looking very beautiful and contrasting with the white armor here. Um, so you can see that from the chest all the way down, we have those blue panels um, from the waist all the way down to the legs, and then even on the back here with um, these little leg flaps, we have more of that blue armor right back there. Um, but then we look all the way up. They have additional pieces for the V-Fins. This one is specifically a display V-Fin designed just for the destroy mode specifically. There's also like another set that they want that um, you get where uh, you can put blue stickers on the inside of them so that you have, I guess, blue on the front and then white on the back. So I guess it looks more consistent, but I didn't really bother with that. I'd rather just have the display piece here. And then right back here, they have, um, you get a bigger, a better picture of the Xeno Connect right here um, with that very very angular design and then of course right here with these little transparent pieces um, they kind of want you to put like a, a like a silver sticker back there to try to make the the transparent blue um, plastic pop a little bit more um, but yeah so then if we spin this around and take a look at the DEs so right back here um, you can see that the DEs are completely exposed as well too. We have that beautiful blue transparent on the DEs. Honestly, I think this looks a lot better on the DEs compared to the rest of the model. And that's not to say that the, the rest of the model looks bad, but like I, I definitely like the way that this contrasts with the white a little bit better with the clear pieces here. Um, and then of course, all the way down to the tail. Um, so the DEs looking really good. Overall, this model looks incredible while it's when it's in its destroy mode here um, it makes a very beautiful display piece and that's kind of where things get a little bit unfortunate with this model because as soon as you decide to transform it that's where this model starts to get incredibly annoying because um i feel that they could have done a little bit of a, be a better job um designing this just because a lot of the pieces tend to they tend to be very loose and very flimsy um, a lot of pieces tend to pop out and just fall whenever you move certain pieces of the uh, of the model kit as well um, more in particular these tail pieces for the DEs, these fall out all the time. Um, they're a little annoying because they're very loosely attached to the DEs. Um, so those will be falling out frequently. And then I also have an issue with this DE where um, the mount, the where it mounts into the backpack, uh, I'm not sure if you can really see it there, but where it mounts into there, um, it has problems sitting into that spot because again it kind of suits it sits loosely in there so oftentimes if you move this model around that piece will tend to fall out or even or even more so when this is exposed like this and it's a destroy mode that piece will actually lean over and shift over to the side so a, a lot of pieces on this model kit become a little bit problematic especially in destroy mode so that's honestly i feel like that's a very big oversight with this model kit but you know, besides that, the model kit looks incredible. Um, of course, the visuals, the colors look really good, especially the weapons as well, too. Um, barring the fact that, you know, the weapons are are a little bit flimsy designed, like I showed earlier, where this, the the beam magnum is a little bit loose, like the met, the, you can kind of shake this open and then the magazine can fall out. Um, 
The bazooka does a little bit of a better job holding the magazine, but even then, um, it's a little bit weird. But um, I definitely think out of the weapons, it's definitely the, the hyper javelin, um, which is the most impressive part of the weapons, I think. Um, that's not to say that this, this doesn't have any flaws, because this piece, the little um, spear section of the javelin, definitely has some issues um, with, with sitting into its mount. Um, especially if you mount it um, right up onto this onto this portion right here so that you have the spear and the axe together. Um, that spear section will sometimes falls out. Uh, so definitely there are a, a lot of problems with this mobile suit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about in regards to the Master Grade Unicorn Gundam Perfectibility. Um, so... If I were to go into my final thoughts real quick, um, with this mobile suit, honestly, this is, it's really hard, it's really hard for me to say if I really like this kit or not, just because, like, I, I think that it looks great, it looks amazing, it's a very beautiful looking kit, so I really like it in that regard, but I can't say that I've messed around with a kit in a while where I've actually been really frustrated and just really didn't like playing around with it. This is one of these kits. Um, I did not like. I did not like transforming this thing. It was not fun. Posing it is incredibly annoying in destroy mode because of how finicky it is and because of how loose a lot of the joints are, um, and just because of how things will just pop out and fly all over the place. It's really not a fun suit to play around with. So I think. Um, I honestly think that. In terms of uh, and posability is like is okay as well so i think in terms of everything that's not visuals i feel like this suit is a little bit lacking um but besides that like just having it in a display case which is what i'm going to be doing um and just having it in a pose that you really like and just keeping it there i feel like it'll serve its purpose really nicely like that it's a very beautiful kit um yeah it looks incredible and um and yeah that's pretty much the value you're going to get out of this is pretty much the the, the uh, visuals from this, um, the aesthetic, and also because this is a limited suit as well too. So, you know, it's going to look nice along with your other Gundam model kits. And I think, personally, I think this is probably one of the better, if not the best looking unicorn suits that's been released um, thus far. So, um, in terms of visuals, I think it's incredible. But yeah. That's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about in regards to the perfectibility. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys found it informative. Uh, there's definitely going to be more Gundam-related stuff coming in the future, so I hope you guys stay tuned for that. But until then, I hope you guys stay safe. I hope you guys have a good night or a good day, depending on where you are. And I will see you all later.